Okay, so you've just bought your Cactus V6-2s and you want to use them on your Fuji cameras. The first thing you're going to want to do is head to the Cactus website, go to the download section. There's a quick start guide there, which you can download. The main thing you want to get is the firmware updater. So download for your version, Windows or Mac. Once that's downloaded and installed, open that up. You'll see that it says no device connected. So you're gonna to wanna to plug in your V6 II via USB cable. Make sure you remove batteries. Once that's plugged in, hold down the menu button and then click to either transmitter or receiver and you'll see a little red light flashing. Update has now recognized the Cactus V6 II. Click on update. I've already done it, so you can see that it says Fuji.1.002 firmware is already installed. Once that's finished, the red light will stop blinking and the system will turn on. Make sure you do that for both units. Next thing, put the batteries back in. Now we'll just check that the Fuji firmware is installed. As you can see, you can also change the flash system depending on what flash you're using. For this test today, we're gonna to put it into manual because we're using an Elon Chrome ELB 400. So now we've done both units, plug in one of them via the 3.5 mm sync socket. This is gonna be our receiver. So let's flick that on to RX. You can see the manual mode is on. Now just plug in the ELB head. Switch that on. And just make sure that the transmitter is sending signal to the receiver and it flashes firing. Not gonna go too extravagant with the setup today. Just gonna use the Quadra HS head plugged into the ELB 400 and shine it through a shoot through umbrella. My subject today is my trusty old Pentax 6.7. Just setting it up here in the office with the bookshelf as the background, just so I can get something nice and out of focus. First, just gonna do a couple of shots in uh, normal sync mode. So shooting at 160th of a second, just to make sure that the trigger's working fine. We'll now pop it up to 500th of a second. Just making sure that the transceiver is set to forced HSS. And nothing happening. So this took me quite a while to figure out and quite a bit of Googling. Finally found an answer on the Cactus website on their forums. Apparently with Fuji cameras, they have a little metal spring clip in the hot shoe which needs to be removed so that the contacts from the Cactus can make Good connection. It's a pretty simple operation. Just lever it out and then uh, remove it. So let's try that again with the spring clip removed. Turn the camera on, half press the shutter button down and then switch to transceiver. And you'll notice that now it recognizes the camera system as Fuji with a little F in the little camera symbol there. So that means the connections are working nicely. So let's test that again. I did accidentally bump the shutter speed down to 1 320th, but that means it's still working in HSS. There does appear to be some shadowing from the top going down towards the bottom, so darker to light. I think that's to be expected though. Let's bump it up to a thousandth of a second. Same sort of result, that looks looking good. Two thousandth of a second. Four thousandth. going to bump the power of the flash up a little bit as well now. That's looking pretty good. You can still see that obvious banding. Now let's try 8,000 of a second at f2.8. Working fine but the power does drop off as you increase your shutter speed. One thing I did notice, now that the spring clip has been removed, there's a little play in the trigger, so it can wobble around a little bit. So depending on where it's sitting, 
it may not be making good connection with the contacts. So you may need to just wiggle it around and find that sweet spot where it's connecting. As you can see there, it doesn't fire, but just positioning it right in the center and it works fine. All right, so it's gonna import those test shots. Okay, so they're all imported. It's just building the one-to-one -one previews at the moment. Let's just have a look. These are the first few shots I took without high-speed sync. So that's shooting at 160 of a second, ISO 200. And this is when I switched to forced HSS on. As you can see, the contacts weren't connecting properly with the trigger, so no HSS signal going through. Okay, this is the first shot with HSS on. Right at 320th of a second, so just over the normal sync speed of 250th of a second. As you can see, there is some banding from the top, slight shadowing. So this is sort of the correct exposure down the bottom. Same again at 320. This is where I increase the power of the Allen Krong DLB 400. And this is at one thousandth of a second. You can still see that. So that gradation is quite obvious. Darker at the top and getting brighter down the bottom. So this is at two thousandth of a second. Four thousandth of a second with no change to the power of the flash. Four thousandth of a second with an increase in one stop on the flash. Eight thousandth of a second. to one thousandth of a second. So I'm just going to take this shot here, shot at four thousandth of a second, and just see how well I can get rid of that gradation from dark to light and sort of even up the exposure. So it's flicking over into develop module now. Grab my gradient tool. What I want to do is Increase the exposure just a little. Let's go half a stop. Drag that down. Let's increase a little bit more. So we'll stop. And there we go, that's evened up that exposure pretty well. So the next step is obviously to do a real world test outdoors. So let's grab a model and we'll go and do some shots.